Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival 1.5 and we're starting this video back at my base camp because it's a little bit cold outside so I'm just going to move in closer. In the last part we went all the way down and said hello to the Talon and did a mission down there which is pretty interesting. I, I like the new mission variant and what I'd like to do in this part is go out and check out the wreckage which I'm hoping is going to be the Heidelberg I'm a little bit worried about my weapons capability at the moment. So before we leave, what I want to do is make up some additional weapons. In fact, I did check out the crossbow. Where is it? Here. And it doesn't have actually any ammunition left in it. So I can't use that. And what I've done is I've kept the flamethrower. But what I would like to do is possibly make an assault rifle. And I would certainly like a sniper rifle as well for, for a possible ranged attack. So what we're going to do is I've got the resources. So we're going to make a... Uh, well, we certainly want a sniper rifle and I want the assault rifle. I don't want to... I mean, I've got steel plates. I've got some copper. I think we're... We make about 30 rounds of that. And... I mean, 500 rounds of that would be quite nice as well. I'm just going to knock out the ammunition because we got this light armor, and this is the reason why I'm hoping that the what this wreckage is going to be the Heidelberg. So I know in the Heidelberg is an armor locker, and we should be able to put that on. Also, if it is the Heidelberg, I'd like to move over to there and set up a base. But of course, well, the, the but of course the downside will be the fact that the, the silicon and iron are here. But we don't have any copper, so I'm hoping that we might find some copper in that direction as well. I've got a few kind of... Oh, he keeps coming in close. Let's just do a reload. Yes. Actually, what I can do is just... Uh, where's the constructor? Just drop you out as well. You we can turn that into a stake. I'll put that in there as well. I've got a couple of stakes. I'm going to keep an eye on the perish time because the perish time is already down to seven. Actually, we can pop one of those just to get the food up. Better inside than out. But I've got a reasonable collection of um, stuff. I feel very comfortable and satisfied. I think that actually, when you're comfortable and satisfied, what you do is get a little bit of health regeneration as well. You see it just creeping up. So it pays to do it. Uh, I think we'll put the light there. Move that over. Make some rounds of ammunition. I don't think we'll take the pistol with us because I want this, these heavy weapons. Certainly don't want the crossbow. Oh, I'd love to have the crossbow, it's probably correct. So, actually, I'm going to make another... Just like that. Stake. Of course, we'll take the portable constructor with us, because that's useful. really like the idea of having the sniper rifle with me. I'm going on the principle that in the last part we ran into a little bit of tougher opposition with respect to the the uh, hostiles. So I'm kind of kitting up a little bit in preparation. We're probably going to need to take the portable heater with us as well. We got 300 rounds of ammunition. Let's, uh, I mean, I'm going through my copper, and I've got some logs, so we're okay. Just I'm going to do is just wait for that um, to play out, and then I'll be right back. There we are, just finishing the last bit of sniper ammunition. So we got about 30, well, what we got in the rifle, we got about 40 rounds of sniper, 500 rounds of projectile ammunition, and 69 shotgun shells. Hopefully, whatever we run into, that will be enough. Oh, and one thing I will do is I'm going to take the tent with me just in case as well. Um, because 
I would like to drop that as a possible spawn point. And we're just going to head off in this direction. I'm going to resist the temptation to collect too much in resources, but what I might do is just grab some plant protein and uh, what we call it, <laughs> plant fiber. Am I going the right direction? I don't think I am. That's the wreckage I need to go to. There's something 192 away. I've right, discovered some more wreckage. I can certainly check that out. There's, being the eternal optimist, I'm kind of half hoping that I'm going to find multi tool. Oh, God, we've got to dig down onto this one. I'm just going to dig down and see if we can find something down here. We are multi tool, please. No. Ah. We've got some cobalt alloy. Well, that's good enough. And of course, we'll have to pick the bike up and then point it in the direction that we want to go. A little bit of uh, plant, uh, plant protein there as well, a little bit more just behind it. We'll just have a little bit of a look-see in this area. Um, hopefully the sun will come up soon and we'll be able to see where, where we're going and what we're doing. Actually, let's just throw out a scan and see what's around. Nothing. We've got an iron deposit over there. Okay. Don't want to run in the water because I don't want to lose this motorbike. Just kind of cruise along the edge of the lake here. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we're just going around that edge there. Stop and pick up the purple leaves. They could they be useful. That water in front of me again. Yeah, but we're going to curve up that way a little bit. Commander, I'm detecting a large wreckage ahead of us. Size and composition indicates a UCH Pelican type transport. Proceed with caution. Let's get in a little bit closer. I'm a bit worried about the fact that it's telling us to proceed with caution. Looks like we've also got water in front of us, which is not good. Bike up. I thought the map said that there was a. It's almost like there's a some water in front here. Let me just. Uh, it looks like map. No, we found grain. Perhaps there's a little bit of copper here. We'll just keep that up while we're going through. Keeping an, uh, an eye open for pteropods. Of course, we're near water. Oh, we can walk around this way. Though the water doesn't look that deep anyway. Make sure everything is fully loaded. There's a pteropod. <laughs> Keep away from him. I know he's coming at us. Oh. Go away. Right. Well, we found a damaged hover bike. That's cool. We can make the. Uh, we'll probably have to repair it. We'll go and check that out. <laughs> check 
projecting movement site approach the site and open fire when being attacked okay um Oh, that's not good. That is normally indicates that this is a. Okay, let me just get in. Um... Not seeing any drones. Wait, go away. Hide behind the tree says there's movement there's no drones wait stop hiding behind the got one Uh, Ripper dogs. Glad I made the... Another one. Just over there. It's around the corner of the building there. I can see you. I can hear you. Let's see if we can get in close and grab this guy before he disappears. Got a little bit of ammunition. Oh, we've got a health kit. It did be quite a lot of damage being up close and personal. One deep fried ripper dog. Right, this sounds like there's somebody else still here. We kind of tuck in here. There's one over there. They all seem to be hanging around just in that area there. Seems the soldiers have taken a prisoner. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather put my armor on first before I look for the prisoner. <laughs> I know it's a little bit negative, but uh, I think I'd rather do that. This looks very different, actually. I'm sure the armor locker should be up this way. Let me just get up here. It should be in this section here. It should be up here somewhere. We can jump up. The problem's going to be jumping up. I'll just have to turn the weapon off. We can kind of get up here. Come on, game. You can do it. There's the armor locker. Just... Ah. Oh, wait, game. Right, wow. Okay, we got there. We've got means we've now got the ability to turn on the jetpack. Yes. So we can get in there and get healed up as well. So we better have a look around now and see what we can find. What I would really like game is a multi-tool. The main thing that's worrying me is that this is actually got a chevron on it. Which means that this it could now have an admin core in it, which is a potential problem. Um, let's have a look around. So, oh, shotgun was the assault rifle. I've got some fuel here. Get the fuel out. We'll take that. Make or. Oh, oh, eight, six, nine. Twenty-eight fuel. We'll certainly take that. 
So who am I looking for? Oh, we found a small generator. Oh, that is for a hover bike. That could be useful. What we got here? Like some kind of door. Hello, there's somebody in here. Hey, you discovered a new faction, civilians. So talk to him. The, the ancient be praised. You are coming to rescue me from the Xerax scum, I hope. Depends. <laughs> Just kidding, how did you end up here in prison? This story, so we'll stick with the story. Interesting story, I was sent to this planet to investigate the recent activities of the gravitational anomaly that seems to spit out ships and crews into this system from time to time. Risky mission due to the Xerox presence, but the last reported event was exactly one year ago. I was sent here to see what was going on. I only made the mistake to set up my camp right here for investigating the re resonance waves in materials that went through the anomaly already at the same key uh, not much i'm afraid we got a report of a gravitational anomaly in this sector the xerox M empire was amassing ships as it exits i think we're assuming yeah oh, this is getting a bit too much escape xerox thanks to help you tell them people they mentioned something about expedition fleet just pause in case any of you guys want to read that in detail do you know where the survivors went yes and no <laughs> After our rescue teams managed to bring them to yes and no, after our rescue teams managed to bring them past the Xerox lines and off the planet, they were picked up by one of their vessels. I'm afraid we have no info where they went, but when you came to find it, I was being said something, something. What is it? I'm pretty sure the Xerox will send reinforcements soon, as they know my face and as they might have guessed. I do not have any combat experience. I will be arrested in no time. May I ask that you? Then to bring this encrypted data chip to the agent Kessel. It holds a space anomalies report with info about the anomaly and how it affects certain materials. They're extremely valuable. Tell him Dr. Mandor sent it. I will message him that you are underway. He might be willing to give you more than okay, so this looks like we get might get some more resources. Thanks a lot, my friend. Feel, feel free to take my hover bike. It's parked nearby. Troopers remove devices to sell them. But they're still here, there in the containers. Simply put them back in and you're good to keep The extraction team will arrive um, soon, but you won't be able to get go to it. The extraction team will arrive soon, but I won't be able to go to the sanctuary. The security patrol requires we need to quietly leave the planet as quickly as possible. Therefore, more Xerox arrive to find out why their troops did not report back in any time. No worries, my friend. Okay. Okay. Commander, I think you should look for the bridge main console. So we're gonna I know where the bridge main console is. Well we got a core. And what we're gonna have to do is add out what on earth is this? Where is my what we'll do is we'll deploy the um we'll put this stuff in as well. We'll keep the health kit. Uh, eat some of these put that in there put that in there put that in there and that means I should now be able to pick up this stuff and we've got some biofuel as well we're going to need that to power the hover bike I'm going to put the fuel cells in there for the moment I'm just going to gather everything up into this area here that in there put the core in there and uh, we'll have another one of those sandwiches we'll put the five meat in there two three four five 1065 rounds of ammunition that's good what i wouldn't mind is we'll shoot another bandage to get our health up is that an Difficult to tell if that's an admin core or not. Let me just uh, a little bit of a <laughs> not gonna let me get to it. We'd have to kind of shoot up from underneath. Then my let me just oh we got some multi charges in fact let me just do that as well uh, side bike 
pick up the bandages and we'll make one, two, three. Wait, stop walking around. You're making me nervous. Right, we could, there should be some... There's a, what we got here? Multi-tool, please. Uh, there should... There's a... Oh, yeah, there's one there. Another one over there. Can't we got some ah, filling up again already? Okay, let me just. I'm kind of wondering whether it might be quicker to actually ah, can't get through there. Because the fuel tanks are over here. We've emptied the fuel tanks, haven't we? Yes. Some oxygen tanks here as well. I'm just wondering whether it might pay just to get the hover bike set up first. So if we dump that out there, we're kind of pull out some of that, take the fuel tank and the generator. Now, where's the hover bike? I think it's over here. Go back to the shotgun. There it is. We'll get the hover bike working. Yeah, I bought a little bit of fuel with it. I mean, the hover bike doesn't have that much in the way of storage, but if I can get few things built into it we should be able to make some progress i think i can also make a fridge okay there's a damaged hover vesicle in case you need want to help um have a seat in the cockpit um no decline i know what i need to do with the hover bike thank you game as far as i know we don't have to call this we just got to take it over so uh just grab you and you you of course, it's uh, it doesn't make any difference. It's, it does say there's are there are letters for fuel and okay. <laughs> and we'll put some fuel in. We'll just drop all eight in. We'll run around quite a lot. Cargo box in here. A little bit of cargo box. Uh, power on. Press alt and adjust it a little bit. Back a bit so we get visibility, a little bit of height so I can see what I'm doing. And we've now got a hover bike. So we can just go back here and park. And the power off because there's no point so there was much power we can just turn the helmet off because we're on oxygen the oxygen doesn't deplete at the moment one of what can i make i can't remember if i can make a bridge in the portable constructor it's a really surprising but we can make a long range detector i certainly would like to make that but more importantly, what I would like is a fridge. Yes, we can make a fridge, but oops, we've got to unlock it, that and that. Question is, will I got have will I have the resources to make? We need electronics and well, there's electronics on the bike, isn't there? Stand close by. I'll just drop that in there. Get rid of that. Going to be enough to make a fridge. We just need some steel plates. And normally I would say this is where we loot the Heidelberg, but I, I'm pretty sure we can't. It will tell us that we. Oh, 
cannot change this structure with a multi tool anyway. Let's just go and do the bridge. And we'll see. Oh, look at all these thrusters. If we can't take the thrusters, that's going to be annoying. And did I get this? We we'll have to see what we can get the maximum amount out of this as we can. Oh, there's components and computers. Thank you, game. And we should be able to jump into the console here. I'm not exactly sure. Ah, that's one way to do it, I suppose. Got myself trapped a little bit now. We ah. Okay, we're kind of trapped in here now. Oh, what we got? Okay, we can go out this way. There is a way up. I just can't remember what which way it was now. It's up this way. There it is. It's on top of the we. And then I think we come through here. There we are. Loading chip status not available. Command status not available. Loading file system not available. Error. Your IDA your turn again. Override accepted. Loading log files. Defragmenting log files. Two files available. Show log files. Let's hit us hard. Kind of large projectile and a very advanced rocket. We got separated from the main fleet. These guys have cut us off from the rest. We're trying to bring us down. We were successful. Captain has sent the emergency rescue signal. We're making an emergency landing. All engines are off. I am on off to the rescue pod. Nicole Planet, chief engineer, next log file. Captain Brenner and Mo and most of the flight team were killed uh, just seconds ago. Projectile hit the bow amidship. It was, it was me to check the lifeboat seconds before the bridge was hit. Karma, maybe not, maybe. Now I can't leave this room. The doors are sealed. Let's click that. I'm standing in front of the lifeboat section and cannot enter it, which, which doesn't matter anyway. But the whole section is missing, and I'm staring at, into the sky through a big hole in the, in the hull. The ground is coming closer. I've just heard the tearing of metal. The ship is breaking apart. At least our engineers did the job when building this section. Heidelberg, obviously, Commander, while you went through the ship, I took time to analyse the weathering materials. I know what you want to say. Yes, Commander. We lost a full year in the gravitational anomaly. If there was once were survivors, they have moved on. And everything we heard about the Xerox and the situation on the planet, more unlikely that we will find them in the system. This all explains why I could not make contact with the fleet. We need to face the facts, move on. We need to get off this damn planet. Thank you. Correct. Pick up the hover vessel nearby and find Sanctuary. Speak to Agent Kessel. In case our new friend Dr. Mandel can be trusted, he might be willing to help someone with the Terran expedition. Ah, for sure, that's the only way to go. We're going to find Sanctuary. Let's go back along here. But we got some more steel plates. We need a few more than that, though. I think I know where I might be able to get some. Oh, I certainly want you. We've got the multi charges. We just need a multi tool. And I think where I'm, I'm, we can get up over here. Well, can we get any the oxygen now? That could. Then again, do I want to lug oxygen around just at the moment? We don't need it. I think we can leave it there. What I'd like to do somehow is get up over there because right at the top there, if you can just see it, is the container for this area here. We can use the constructor. <laughs> we we'll just kind of be a little bit. It's the fridge. Oh, we got a fridge. We just can't get anything out of it. Can't remember where. <sighs> Don't looks like there's only some steel plates in there anyway. Can't remember where the fridge is. The fridge is buried somewhere 
inside the ship but it's only got a little bit of meat in it anyway and we can do that by doing a bit of hunting ourselves anyway let's just get back and see if i can find see if we've got enough steel plates to make a bridge Sanctuary's up there. This is a real disappointment that we can't take this apart. There's got to be a way to do it. We'll look at we found some more and some sapien plates. Seems to be a lot more loot boxes scattered around this ship than before. The last time I was here, I actually left the planet after building a CV based on what was here. You know, I'm just going to get in here, put this in here. So we've got sport food already, which is not good. We can build a fridge. How much you've got perish type corn game? You can do it. Well, we got some adrenaline shot. Let's keep looking round. See if we can find him. This core is annoying me. Pretty sure this is a admin core. I mean, you can tell by the colour, I think, isn't it? It does look like an admin core. Because it's not red. Come on. Put you there. I'll just put the fridge in this place I normally put it. Oops. You there. Put the power on. that in there we I suppose we've got to go and deliver that go over here out you you put those in there as well probably don't need the spoiled food I could probably throw it away to be honest so we solved the food problem now and I've got the multi-tools I like to keep. Oh, I've got a multi-tool. Where did that come from? <laughs> I think we'll put the bike in there now because we're going to go mobile. And that will save me a little bit of weight as well. You can see the difference. I mean, that's 100, which is one one sixth of the total weight I've got to carry. But now in business, we've got this salt rifle put take the flamethrower out for them actually let's put the flamethrower in there we've got a core and we've got so we've now got a shotgun some reasonable amount of ammunition we've got a multi-tool which we can't use on here which is slightly disappointing but uh, and what i'm going to do is just kind of scout around the area now and see what we can find. I wouldn't mind a few more resources because I'm not going to go up to here in this part. That will be the subject of the next part. Let me just see. Probably do with some more, uh, what we call it, uh, plant fiber to make, uh, so that we can make biofuel. We're going we're gonna to need that so just have a look around the area probably need to cut a couple of trees down as well so we're just going to work around this area for the moment it's a nice big tree here we'll take this yeah we've got eight logs out of bats I mean, the devs are a real tease in the sense that stand here and see all these resources piled up and be, not being able to mine them like before. It's going to make getting, I mean, it's going to make getting the uh, first ship a little bit more complicated than it was before. Maybe that's why they did it. So we're going to stick, just going to go down and check towards the coastline, pick up some veggies, see what else is here. Maybe hunt a pteropod or something. 
I wouldn't mind a, a little bit more in the way of iron. Um, oh, look at that. We've got some fire moss scrapings. We'll take that. Of course, this is all good XP. And we've got some herbal leaves, which we will now be how allow us to cure indigestion. So we'll just kind of patrol around this area a little bit here. Maybe pick up a few more. Natural stimulant. I don't really find the need for natural stimulant, to be honest. What we got over here. What is this? What on earth is this? Betty moss scrapings here. We'll take that. That's all the basis of medicine. You normally find these in this kind of marshy type area. So it's really good to be able to find this getting a bit dark so there's a possibility that we could run into some hostiles here this i think this is uh not sure what this is but we're <laughs> i don't think it was anything yeah let me just see what else is over here but it's a little bit more over there And just grab that. We'll just work our way back towards the ship. Let's approach the station. Yes, thank you, game. Right, so here we are. We are back at the Heidelberg, although it's not called the Heidelberg anymore. It's just called the Wreckage. I wonder if you shot him, whether that would have an effect. Oops, can't put that in there. We'll put that in there, that in there. Well, let's put this stuff nicely in. The... Yeah, we're okay for food at the moment. And we're just going to set this up. To... I mean, we've got 22 biofuel. So I think what we'll do... Can I make another... No, we don't have any iron ore. We might as well put a big pile of biofuel in there. I'll turn the thrusters off, that might save a little bit of fuel. Although generally the hover bike is fairly economic with respect to what's there. Yeah, I need I need another portable constructor. Because if I can do that I can leave this one here. And then I can then go out and when we go to the sanctuary, we can take another one with us. It means I don't have to keep lugging all this stuff over creation. It's just so annoying. <laughs> anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. So in the next part, we will work our way up towards sanctuary. I'm assuming that we're going to make uh, contact with the Polaris here. But maybe off camera what I'll do is I'll shoot back over here and get some iron ore and from this area here. But that will be for the next part. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.